Hello everyone, in this plant protection class we will introduce fully autonomous work to you. Fully autonomous operation is suitable for First, relatively regular plot Second, relatively large plots The specific operation of fully autonomous operation is as follows Power on the base station, wait for the completion of the base station, searching satellites When hearing a beep or the blue light of the mod is flashing, then it means that satellite search is completed Click the settings in the Plant Protection Assistant app, select the RTK setting interface, turn on the RTK positioning button, the RTK root button, the data transmission button, and change the data source type to the base station mode, then aircraft or dotting can apply the high precision positioning. Dot the plot. It is recommended to use a T marker and aircraft dotting mode to do dots. For specific operation instructions, please watch the relevant operation videos. Click Settings, click the Start button for pulverization particle size, click the Start button for water pump, check if the centrifugal disk and water pump are working properly, and if the flow rate is normal. First, Pre-Flight Setup. Click the Settings button, click Flight Settings. Click the Remote Control button to check if the remote lever mode is correct. Set the takeoff and return altitude. If there are obstacles on the flight path to the destination, please ensure that the takeoff and landing altitude is greater than the obstacle height. Set the discontinuation action, it is recommended to be set as hovering. Second, click on the plot just made, click on the route planning, adjust the flight path, obstacle points, and route indentation according to the actual requirements. Click on the start point setting, and set the starting point position of the drone. It is recommended to be as close as possible to the takeoff point of the aircraft. After the setting is completed, click Save, click Next, and set the dosage of acre, altitude, and speed. The specific parameters should be set according to the actual situation. Third, observe the surrounding environment, maintain a safe distance of 6 to 10 meters from the operator, click Start Operation, check if the relevant settings are correct, click Check, and Slide. The drone will automatically unlock and fly to the operation area for work. You can also manually fly to the vicinity of the starting point, and then check and slide to enter autonomous operation. During the work process, you can click on the parameters on the remote control to modify parameters such as dosage per acre, height, and speed. The modified parameters will take effect immediately. The drone altitude can also be temporarily adjusted by throttle stick. When the stick returns to the middle position, the drone will return to the operating altitude. Fourth, if it is necessary to interrupt the drone during the operation, any remote stick except the throttle can be moved to interrupt autonomous operation and control the drone through the remote control stick. You can click the pause operation button on the remote control to control the drone through the remote control stick. You can pluck the SG switch on the remote control Pluck the switch back and forth once, and the aircraft will immediately stop at the current position, with the highest priority, and then control the aircraft through the stick. Special note, in the process of fully autonomous operation, breakpoints, intelligent breakpoints, projection points and other operations will also be used. For specific details, please refer to the relevant video content. Fifth. After the aircraft operation is completed, relevant data for the operation will be generated. After checking the operation data for accuracy, click Confirm. Sixth, when the drone returns to landing, you can choose Autonomous Return. Press and hold the Return button on the remote control, and the drone will automatically return to the takeoff point. You can also manually operate the drone back to landing. Fully Autonomous Operation is completed.